Let's take a look at some examples where cryptography is commonly used. First up is online shopping. Whenever you buy something from a shop like Amazon, your transaction will be done behind SSL and your credit card details will be encrypted. This is a level of protection that everyone has come to expect. Shopping online has become something that people take for granted these days and it's cryptography that helps ensure that the shopping experience is done safely. The next example is that of authenticating with different systems or websites. To access different systems, you need to be able to prove who you are. This is commonly done by authenticating yourself with your username and password. We cover secure password storage in some detail later on in the course. Every time you put your bank card into an ATM machine and enter your PIN, cryptography is being used behind the scenes. This includes using cryptography to validate the PIN number and authenticate the user. The communication between the ATM and the bank will also be encrypted so as to protect information about the customer's transaction. Because the bank is issuing cash to a customer, there will also be a good deal of integrity checking in play and also non-repudiation so that once cash has been issued, the customer cannot deny that the cash was given to them. We will cover non-repudiation and digital signatures later on in the course. These days, everyone has a cell phone and wants to make phone calls that are private and can't be easily eavesdropped. Modern digital cell phones employ cryptography to encrypt the call to help make this possible. Modern smartphones are also powerful computers in their own right and have connections to the internet either via the cellular network or over Wi-Fi. Just as with desktop computers, these smartphones will also use cryptographic protocols like SSL to protect the traffic flowing to the internet. Another example of cryptography in use is the rise of digital currencies like Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a peer-to-peer -peer payment processing system and digital currency where users can transact directly without needing an intermediary. Transactions are verified by network nodes and reported in a public distributed ledger called the blockchain. Bitcoin is commonly referred to as a cryptocurrency as cryptography is at the heart of how the currency works. Our final example of cryptography in use is that of electronic voting. It allows voters and election observers to verify that votes have been recorded, tallied and declared correctly in a manner independent from the hardware and software running the election. Three aspects of verifiability are considered individual, universal and eligibility. Individual verifiability allows a voter to check that her own vote is included in the election outcome. Universal verifiability allows voters or election observers to check that the election outcome corresponds to the votes cast. And eligibility verifiability allows voters and observers to check that each vote in the election outcome was cast by a unique registered voter. The examples of cryptography we have shown here are just a few of the different examples where you'd encounter cryptography in the real world. The one thing you can be sure of is that cryptography and encryption is everywhere, so it's important for developers to understand some of the cryptographic tools available to them in their platform of choice. Unlike its predecessor DES, AES does not use a Feistel network. AES is a variant of the Rindell cipher, which has a fixed block size of 128 bits and a key size of 128, 192 or 256 bits. AES is based on a design principle known as a substitution permutation network, which is a combination of both substitution and permutation and is fast in both hardware and software. A substitution or S-box is a basic component of symmetric key algorithms which perform substitutions. In block ciphers, they are typically used to obscure the relationship between the key and the ciphertext. An S-box is typically implemented as a fixed lookup table. A permutation or P-box is a method of bit shuffling used to transpose bits across an S-box's inputs. In block ciphers, the S-box and the P-box are used to make the relationship between the plain text and the ciphertext difficult to understand. One of the principal design goals of AES was to keep it simple to implement in both hardware and software. AES works by repeating the same defined steps multiple times, which are called rounds. Each round consists of several processing steps, including one that utilises an encryption and decryption subkey that is generated from the shared key. The key size used for an AES cipher specifies the number of repetitions of transformation rounds that convert the input plaintext into the final output ciphertext. The number of rounds or repetition are as follows. 10 rounds of repetition for a 128-bit key, 12 rounds of repetition for a 192-bit key, and 14 rounds of repetition for a 256-bit key. Each round consists of several processing steps, each containing four similar but different stages, 
including one that depends on the encryption key itself. A set of reverse rounds are applied to transform the ciphertext back into the original plaintext using the same encryption key. Round keys are derived for each round of the ciphertext using a key schedule. For the initial round, we add a round key where each byte of the state is combined with a block of the round key using a bitwise exclusive OR. Then for each round, there are the following steps as highlighted in the diagram. First, there is a subbyte process, where there is a non-linear substitution step where each byte is replaced with another according to the lookup table or S-box. Then there is a shift row step, where there is a transposition step where the last three rows of the state are shifted cyclically a certain number of steps. Next, there is a mixed column step, where a mixing operation which operates on the columns of the state, combining the four bytes in each column. Then there is another add round key step. These four steps are repeated for the desired number of rounds based on the size of the key. Then there is a final round where the sub bytes, shift rows and add round key steps are repeated. There is no mixed column step included here. As previously mentioned, the allowable key lengths in AES are 128, 192 and 256 bits. Every key is expanded so that a separate sub key could be utilised for each round.